Hey, what's up guys? This is Jason from Jason Berkman Photography and today we are going to talk about Acros. Okay, now what is Acros? Acros is actually a film stock that Fujifilm used to use for their 35mm cameras. Well, if you're familiar with Fuji, then you know that Fuji has done this amazing thing. They've taken all their film stock and actually simulated or emulated them. Simulated, emulated. They've emulated them into simulations that they embed in the camera, which is really, really cool. So if you're using JPEGs, you can go straight to JPEGs with Classic Chrome, Classic Negative, Acros, uh, Eterna, Provia, all these uh, Eterna ble Bleach Bypass. That's like the 300 you know the movie three we, we are Sparta. Sparta. bleach bypass anyway so they've taken all those and they've embedded them in the Fujifilm cameras if you are familiar with Fujifilm cameras then you know that's probably why you're watching this video because you like Acros and you just want to see my take on it so this is for newbies this is for uh, veterans this is for anyone who really wants to uh, experiment with black and white now if you're new to black and white um, I actually used to shoot 3200 film back in the day because I really like the high grain high contrast I really liked grainy portraits I, I used to like to do portraits of musicians um, uh, portraits of family yeah, but I, I really love doing black and white 3200 really grainy grainy film portraits that was like my thing when it's gotten to the digital realm that's really when I started to pick up the interest in color photography but mainly I was all about black and white it's really cool to get back into black and white photography with Fujifilm because of the film simulations right now I'm on the XS10 and the really cool thing about the XS10 is there's a movie button if you're shooting stills um, and you're in the Acros film simulation which I'll be showing you guys right now you can just switch that button on and go straight to movie mode but in that film simulations in that film in that film simulation gosh I, I make things so complicated if you're shooting stills in acros you press that button now you're shooting film or movie in Acros. God, that was so challenging just to, to break that down for you. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to bring you out on the streets of downtown Austin, Texas to show you uh, what I did today. So let's take a look. So I started on one side of the city where there's this really cool bridge. And uh, yeah, this is the bridge. It's a really, really cool bridge and just decided to get some different shots of some angles and uh, like lines, leading lines, uh, any kind of curvature angles and stuff like that. They're kind of fun to do. Uh, and then looking for people, obviously, um, around the area. And you kind of have to be quick on the draw with that movie button. I've, uh, you probably can tell with some of the video that um, there's some really cool shots coming into the video, and I miss it. And I'll, I'll let you guys know where that is. Um, this is a really cool old railroad track, and um, that's the bridge from the side next to the railroad track. Now, I really like architectural photos, especially with this, um, with the Acros Red simulation. Here's the shot right here. I missed this guy. That would have been a really cool shot, but she came. Uh, to the other side of the power plant and so I got that photo but uh, architecture is just so cool with the Acros red because it allows you to get some darker skies and so it's really great contrast with the clouds and stuff this is a cool shot of this uh, construction worker uh, and a really cool way to get these shots is you kind of have your uh, camera kind of at your waist and then or at the eye is kind of fun because when they start to look at you going like what are you taking photos of you take your eye off the camera and you look a different direction as though you were actually shooting in that direction right here I didn't know which one to shoot so I shot both and again those different lines that uh, contrasty skies and that black and white is just so great with um, with architectural photography because 
you really just, it's, it's all about contrast, it's all about lines, it's all about angles. This one's a little bit straight on, but, um, but uh, I made up for it in doing plenty of angles in this building. Really cool building, I call it the Jenga building, because it looks like a bunch of Jenga. But really cool building, I think it's the tallest building in Austin at this point. So here's a cool one, it, it was framed by the other two buildings. And not as many shots of people, but I got some, some kind of cool shots of some people. I hope you enjoyed those photos. If you haven't gone out with uh, film simulations, you know, you really need to try it if you have Fujifilm. Try Acros, go out with Acros at four day. I'm just gonna shoot black and white. I'm just gonna shoot this film, uh, this film sim, this film simulation. I'm just gonna shoot with this particular film simulation for the day and really try to challenge yourself to come up with some good shots and find out what it is you like or dislike about that film simulation or that process and uh, you might find something that you really really enjoy i actually love black and white i'm really enjoying a lot more color but there are so many more nuances to color whereas black and white it's it's really about contrast angles uh, shadows and light and um and that's really what it's about so it's very very creative it's very cool very fun but i challenge you to go out and play with some film simulations you know let that be your one thing that you do that day and go out and have some fun. Thank you guys for letting me take you on this journey through the Acros film simulation by Fujifilm. I'm out of here. Thank you again for visiting my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe, leave a comment if you would like, uh, even if it's good or if it's bad. If it's something I can learn from, great. Uh, awesome, more the merrier. But uh, you guys have an amazing day and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.